Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. My name is Yaul Hak Munim and I'm the founder of Research Hub. And with this video, we are going to start a new playlist on Stata. Mostly, we will be showing you how to do statistical analysis with Stata. So, in this first video, we will have an overview of Stata. And the topics that we'll cover are like basic introduction to Stata, a comparison of Stata with other statistical packages. How does the Stata interface looks like? And also some very common, the most common uh, points when working with Stata. So first, Stata is a complete integrated statistical software package that provides more or less everything you need for data analysis, data management, and graphics. And there are similar packages, as you know, like SPSS, SAS, and R. We already have some playlists on R and SPSS, and most likely we will also have some videos on SAS in the near future. And Stata puts hundreds of statistical tools that can be easily accessed. And also we have uh, lots of user support available from the Stata Corporation, but also there are lots of people, uh, statisticians all over the world, they are working together to make it better and also helping each other in informal platforms in Facebook, uh, in, Google, uh, for, in Google community. Here we can see a comparison of the Stata. Uh, while comparing with the SPSS, SAS, and R, and we are comparing mainly on five things, learning curve, user interface, data manipulation, data analysis, and graphics. The learning curve in Stata is quite steep and gradual, but where in SPSS it will be gradual or flat, and then in SAS and R, pretty steep. So what do we really mean by this learning curve? That means that when you start learning Stata, you will be learning quite fast and you will be learning quite a lot of things, okay? Uh, but in the beginning, it could be a bit challenging. But when you when you pass through the challenges, your learning will be very fast. Okay. In SPSS, it comes with less challenges uh, compared to Stata or any other software. So it is pretty much easier to use. But then the learning curve is also flat. It's not really, you will not make very uh, high growths in your learning uh, with the SPSS. In the user interface, in the Stata, we have programming and also we have the, you can um, click and uh, point and click. Okay, you can do, so in the Stata, you can do both programming and point and click. In SPSS, it's mostly point and click, but we also have a syntax in SPSS where we can do programming. SAS and R, they are mainly programming. They don't have a very nice user interface where you can just click and get the results. But what I like about Stata is that it's, it has a very nice click and point, point and click user interface, but the programming uh, of Stata is also very intuitive. The commands in Stata uh, is very intuitive. For instance, if you want to see a description of your variables, uh, the format of the variables, you can just write describe and then the variable name. If you want to see some summary statistics, you can just write summarize and the variable name. But in SPSS, the syntax of SPSS is a less intuitive compared to Stata and a bit complicated to handle. But uh, for SAS and R, again, the interface, uh, the command, the, the, the command, uh, it's the programming of SAS and R, they are also very intuitive, but they don't offer a point and click user interface. But for many of us, we don't really want to look, go through all this programming. We just want to uh, do our statistical analysis. We have an understanding of the different methods and we want to run them and we want to get results and we want to put them in our journal articles, right? So maybe we don't want to go through all this learning of programming, okay? So for those, the Stata uh, is a very good tool. Uh, you can uh, get a lots of uh, analysis using the user interface, but also with programming, you can extract them very nicely in your in your journal article format. But also, Stata offers this log file and do file, which are very useful to regenerate the results later. We will show those things in detail in the later videos. But then manipulation, data manipulation, Stata, SAS, and R, they're very strong. Spaces is also good, but not as powerful as the others. And for data analysis, more or less uh, SPSS, Stata, both of them are powerful, but SAS and R, they are also very versatile. You can manipulate very small parameters and you can modify or adjust your 
figures and tables uh, like you can go really in the very basic unit of modification and customization if you can uh, code if you know how to code them and for graphics Strata, SAS and R they are pretty good actually quite very good uh, SPSS is also not bad it's uh, decent but with the Strata, SAS and R you can do much better so that's a comparison of these statistical packages and here this is how normally it looks like there when you open Strata you will have mainly five windows okay the first one is command as you can see here I marked with one so there we can if we are using the programming or the commands uh, for getting the results there we will put our commands and we will get the output in the part two in the window two here as you can see so here we will get all our results and outputs and then we will have a history of our commands or whatever we have ran in this part here and then the variables when we upload a data in Stata, the variables will appear here uh, when you don't have a data it will be empty and then in the end when you click a variable here you will see the properties of the variable here okay in this window here so this is how normally the state window looks like and here on top here file edit there we can go and click for the different analysis we want to do using the user inter interfaces but we can alternatively also write the comments here and we will get the outputs in the in the upcoming videos i'll be mostly showing you how to get results using the user interfaces but also i will show you how to make use of the commands in a way that you can get the most out of it and some preliminary steps in stata is that you want to check your working directory for that you can use this command pwd and sometimes you want to change your working directory then you can use the command cd and then you just give the path of your new directory uh, you can create a log file using the command log using the name of the file dot log and you can close your log file just using the command log close but you can also do it from the user interface i will show you both how to do that and then if you want to add more information more output to your existing log file then you can use this command log using the name of the file comma append okay so normally whenever you want to use the append command then you should use a comma here and if you want to replace a log file then you can just uh, after if you have you if you use the same name like here my lab session dot log here also you are using my lab session dot log you give a comma then replace then you can replace an existing log file so what is these log files in the log files normally we will see all the output so when we'll be running stata whatever the commands we'll be running and whatever the outputs we will be generating all of them can be saved in a log file okay but to do that first you have to start a log file and when you are not when you are done with your analysis then you have to close the log file and sometimes you want to see your stata memory then you can just run the command query memory in addition to log file we also use the do files the do files are the files where we can save some of the commands and we will also be able to save uh, put some co comments next to the command so this command is used for this case so whatever the whatever the reason we use the command so we can add those things those kind of comments in our do file uh, the best use of do file that i think is that it helps us to regenerate our results uh, in a later point of time. So let's say if I run some analysis today and if I save all those analysis, all the commands in a do file and also with some comments, okay, I use this code for this reason and like that. Then after six months when I suddenly get a revision from my supervisor or my, uh, of, or my journal reviewers, then I can just open the do file. I can easily see, okay, yeah, this is what I did. This is the comments I did. Okay, nice. Then we can just load the file and click the do file and all the results will be regenerated. Okay. We don't have to go back and click, click, click yeah, all these things again. We just click on the do file, run, and then it generates all the results. So that's the main use of do file in my opinion. And also 
you can just manipulate like simple things you can change simple things in your do for generating additional results so that i think also very useful uh for do files also when we are working uh on a paper like three or four co-authors normally we share the do file and the data file among us so all of us actually kind of runs the same data and same do file and checks the do file if there are some mistakes uh, in our commands and in this process, we actually validate the results uh, of our uh, research. So that's a very good use of do file, I also, uh, in my opinion. And normally to get an overview of your data, you will use commands like this list, inspect, look for some, yeah, these kind of commands. I will show them in the next video. Um, and then also Stata is normally a color coded system where we have the black, red, and blue. Okay, so the black is normally for the results uh red is for the warnings and the blue is for the functions okay or the commands um, so these are normally the three colors in stata that we will see but we can also change this color i will show the, show how to do that as well and if you have if you're working with an existing data set you can actually just um, use this command use then file location and name of the file to open that or if you are if you have saved the data if you have saved the data in the same working directory then you can just use use file name okay so if the working directory is set to where you have saved the data then you can just use the command use and file name to open the data here we can see an example you can we can also alternatively open the data using the user interface thank you for watching this video if you find it useful like comment and share